Sub homies, I'm in America, what, three days and I'm already like getting the lingo down. So here's my man, Tassos. Can't pronounce his second name, so that's why we all call him Tassos. Here, JT. JT even. What? Sorry, no cursing, no cursing. You want? No, it's okay. It's, okay. it's not family show. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so it's more targeted at people like you. Oh, crazy, okay. yeah. They crazy mofos, you know. Yeah. Come on. Sir. Yeah. I like the... I didn't see the red ones before, actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah so the original, original ones, the original original ones that we had shown didn't have the red dome, so that way you can see the internal structure of the actual antenna and how it's actually made, right? So oh, the yeah. actual final product obviously has a ray dome because otherwise it would make a really good nest, you know, or a place to collect some <laughs> rain or snow. So these are our symmetrical horn antennas. Yeah. We have everything ranging from 30 degrees down to 90 degrees. And it's a, a gain rating of about 10 dB up to about 18 dB, depending okay. on the beam length. Uh, symmetrical horn antennas have a uniform symmetrical beam, right? Okay. So it's 30 degrees wide and also 30 degrees tall. And okay. same thing for the 90, so it's 90 by 90. So what this does is it gives you some really unique coverage patterns, right? Uh, and helps really fill the void for high density customer clients and high AP clusters on antennas, or on towers. Because horn antennas by design, not, not our design, but naturally the design of a horn antenna suppresses side lobes. There's practically zero side lobes. So when you're connecting clients to your APs through these kinds of antennas, you have nothing but main lobe connectivity. So you get you know really good gain, really good. So coverage. they can be like punched really close together without uh, causing them to interference. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. That's like fully tested and everything like that. It's not fully tested, but yes, that's, <laughs> I gotta be. Yeah. I, I gotta be hard ass. Yeah, and that, that's fine. We've all been burned by that. You know what I mean? Like so. It's, we have, it's, we have. But I mean, the RF models definitely show that the side lobes are practically non-existent. Distance. And your front to back uh, isolation is, is really high with these kinds of antennas. So yeah, so it really it really helps again fill a void that's there where your traditional 90 or 120 degree sector you only have a single AP. Now you can build it out with you know four APs in the same area and pick up four times as many clients with the same the same antenna space. All right, cool. Yeah. And so show us the, how the yeah. you know the twist port works. I believe so, it's called that. So. Exactly. So this has our patent pending twist port technology. So every antenna has a twist and connect adapter and this adapter right here you can see the waveguide as well it's pretty cool yeah, exactly so it's all waveguide technology let me show you this one here would be actually better because it has a radio so this is our twist port adapter for the rocket ac light so again it's connectorless or pigtailless right so the connectors just simply just slide inside and it connects and you're done and inside here is our antenna element, which is a vertical and horizontal waveguide element. And it radiates through the horn and gives you your unique beam. Of course, the, the biggest thing is the ease of use, right? So you simply just attach it and click. That's it. So, you know, after years of climbing towers and installing hardware, you know, everybody knows what the, the big issues are carrying these huge sectors. So you can understand how having such a light antenna and ease of use is practically really toolless uh, to go ahead and deploy these things. Wind loading goes down on your towers, weight loading goes down on your towers. It's just it's an all around win for the Pro Wisp. Cool. And what is this a, your, a custom one that it looks like an unusual board? Can you yeah, yeah. So this is our radio. We call it Simper and it stands for simple and perfection. <laughs> okay. So this actually has our own custom board, our own uh, custom Otheros radio inside and runs our, our custom software. This isn't available on the market yet and this is just a prototype. But again, the key here is the twist port technology which makes any radio that has this twist port uh, compatible with our antennas, whether it's the horns or our parabolic dish antennas over here. So that's basically wave guide right onto the card. Absolutely, directly. zero loss. I mean, that's that's the big thing. We've, we've changed the paradigm of how radios are connected and used, right? We've removed the connectors, we've removed the pigtails. It's about as clean as a signal as you can get. And then, um, sorry, I want to be tough yeah. on you, but uh, the front to back ratio, like, is there any shield, extra shielding needed, or is this just a demo model? Or this is just a demo model. I mean, at this point, it's going to be plastic, so there isn't. But I mean, we can see like our carrier class line having the same line where we might have a full metal disclosure on the back. Yeah, okay, the cool. It's just the more isolation. You exactly, and just just like our twist port adapters, you have the option of doing unshielded or shielded. This is the shielded version right here. Uh, what and type can, of device? Oh, it's that for this uh, is for a Rocket 5, okay. which we have right over here. So if we pull this one out, you can see it's the same thing. So when we insert it in here, now you have a full shielded AP device as well, right? Okay, so you cool. get you get everything. That's really nice. And uh, 
And like, uh, are you talking, like you, you were saying your own custom software, are you talking with other, let's say, software manufacturers, you know, uh, like about compatibility or is there sure. licensing? Or, sure, or, sure, sure. So, I mean, there's, there's, a, that. there's, there's a lot of leather options that are available. I mean, some can be spoken about and some can't. But yeah, we're, we're very open minded. We want to be vendor neutral, right? So, okay, cool. So there's, there's possibilities here. Okay, and uh, this one here is this a uh, kind of let's say a microtech enclosure basically. Yep. Cool, and, and how does. Uh... Yeah, so of all our radios, I mean, all our twist port adapters right now, the three major models or vendors we support are Ubiquity, Cambian EPMP 1000 line, and Microtech. So this is our Microtech version, which has a router board inside. All right, cool. That's a nice little tray. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty clean. So you can see inside, I don't know if you can get that in there. That's the, again, the antenna element, right? And, um, you know, our MMCX connectors. And you can connect this to any 911, 711, 411 board with R52 HN or F50 Pro or your big yeah, radio. Yes, yep. we have nice. SFP support on this particular uh, 921, I think. And literally all you do I am is certainly a fan lead. of that SFP port, by the way. Yeah. Just just for the record, if, if no one realizes that I like SFP ports. Yeah, yes, yeah. as we know about Mike and his SFP. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, really, really easy to put together. Just four screws holds the board in and, and you're done. It's pretty um, LEDs come through so you can do alignment. And again, you get the ease ease of installation. And, and again, this comes in shielded and unshielded, so it's really up to the customer whether they want to do it. I'm going to be bold and even you know catch it off uh, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. But I'm just going to ask about this PCI yeah. Express looking is yeah. that and where's that targeted for? Because this looks kind of cool. Yeah. I'll just show it to people. So here's here's our other version. Again, it's it's targeted towards Microtech router boards. So. You know, our true vision is connectorless, right? We don't mm -hmm. want pigtails, we don't want connectors, right? So what we decided to do is we created our own custom Atheros radio. So this is nothing more than a hybrid mini PCI Express Atheros radio. So you can see the waveguide antenna elements for vertical and horizontal built on. The only connection to the board is the PCI Express interface. So if you look inside now, we have a truly unique and I think first in the market uh, radio platform that has absolutely zero loss. It's pure from the antenna. It's for yeah, for the radio to the antenna. And has there? I like just gonna ask tough questions here, but yeah, go for it. You know the let's say with the ribbon, is there any issues with crosstalk, anything like that? You know, from the PCI Express signal, are you? Not, not, not that we've seen. Not okay. that we've seen. So I mean, uh, I guess there's always a possibility, but at the at the moment, there's nothing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, right? and we have we have performance data that we can share, right? Yeah. That shows performance specifically of this radio versus some competitors' radios, and it surpasses it. So, oh, is that uh, is that something that uh, that our friend was was working on as well? Uh, perhaps, perhaps it's something okay. something like that. So, so again, it's targeted towards Microtech, so you get to use router OS, but it. The radio itself is vendor neutral, right? So if you had another board that fit in there, and as long as it has a mini PCI Express interface, then you'd be able to use it. And will you have a metal version of that case as well? Okay. Again, awesome. everything is shielded or unshielded. The only one, the only one that we don't is the EPMP 1000 because the radio itself is already shielded. Right? Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tassos. And uh, what do you think of Vegas? Is it a great place to have uh, a conference? You know, it, it 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 definitely is. I mean, it's you know. Uh, a, a, playground for everybody. I, I come here so much, you know, for me it's kind of like, you know, normal now, you know, getting a little played out, but, but I love it. I I'm love a Vegas. first time attendee, uh, uh, so I'm a Vegas virgin. I'm surprised they let you in the country, Tom. Uh, but, you know, you know <laughs> your, your efforts to get me part of sales, thanks for that. All right, but look, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, thanks for your time, man. I appreciate cheers. it. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. All right.